All right, so we're working in the shop today, and besides Pep and the cute little shop dog we got here, laying on her little bed and working on vehicles, we have been cleaning up. In other words, we've been rooting through our cache or a stash of old engines. I'm working on some Subaru 360 engines, trying to make them all work. That's that's a whole nother that's a whole nother day, but. I've been dragging out these old DKW engines last week. I drug this one out and I was hoping that I could save this crankshaft as an exchange. In other words, I can send this one off to a foreign country and they can rebuild it and send it back to me. It's extremely difficult to try to find one in the United States. They just don't exist. And bearings don't exist. There's only one place in the world that has the bearings. So I drug this one out of storage and to my dismay, you can see it's cracked. The whole case actually rusted and broke off the back. Um, it's just, I don't think it's worth even my time. I don't think I can, I can spend hours and hours and hours getting that crankshaft out of there, mail it to another country, uh, another continent, and have them tell me that it's not rebuildable. It's just not worth my time. I got to find something that's a little better. So I'm going to take a few more parts off this engine, just basically nuts and bolts. I think I can save these studs and the head studs. But I think the crank and the pistons in this thing is just, it's just done. I mean, they're just, it's just fused. If you remember, I'll show you here. Look at the rust that just came off there. The pistons are aluminum, and they're just, they're fused inside there. You can see, I turn my light on, uh, to the block. And the block bottom is cracked. It's a match set. I think it's a lost cause. So... I've got two more of these engines. Let's go pull them out and see what we can make work, if anything. Okay, so we're back in my super secret stash, trying to find an engine that's usable for my DKW. I've got one complete engine there, which I'm sure is seized, and there's a block back there, and there might be some other parts. And I've got tons of Honda 600 stuff. Uh, there's a gas tank. For a 600, a gas tank for a Renault Dauphine. And I've got three radiators up there for a Renault Caravelle. As I'm going through all my stuff, I'm trying to clean all this stuff up. That just looks organized, but bad. So if you know you need something for a Renault Dauphine, Renault Caravelle, Honda 600, a Subaru 360 possibly, or a DKW, or even a, um, I think it's a Bug Eye. 56 bug eye transmission or a sprite transmission. I've got a couple of those. Need to clean them out. Fire sale. Let's get them going. All right, I got to start pulling this out of there and see if I can get it out. Okay, so we're in my super secret salvage yard, which is inside my shed. And I pulled out this engine block, which is a DKW. At least it's in the correct pieces. It's rusty, but not. I don't know if it's too bad. The mud wasps have actually filled up the, the holes where the bolts are supposed to go through. And I don't know by looking at those numbers if it's a 900 or a 750. It appears to be 1957, maybe June 5th, 1957. But I don't know about those other numbers there. If somebody can cross those for me, that'd be great. So that's a potential viable block. I'm going to have to clean it up, blast it, see if I can wire brush the rust off. I found a carburetor, and the throttle shaft is stuck. It's not too bad, though. I think I could fix that. Oh, there it goes. I've got a cylinder head with the stock coils, and it again looks to be not great, but... Something I can work with. Doesn't appear to be cracked. Bearings are shot in the, in the fan shaft. And then I've got a timing chest here. That's where the points are on the front of the engine. They go on the front here. And that actually seems to rotate. Probably reuse that. So I've got that engine as a potential. And this one, and it looks like I did the smart thing, and I filled it full of ATF. Yeah, the spark plugs are, are loose. However, 
I think I sandblasted this intake manifold to clean it up and then, oh man, look at that. I don't know, I might be able to get that dirt, or that rust, what is that? That's nasty, I'll tell you that much. And same thing, I got to cross numbers on this one. Looks like it's 10, 12, 57. And it may or may not be a 900 cc. So I think I'm going to pull this back to the shop and see if I can pull it apart and see if we can get the crank out of it. It's my last crank. i got to find a flywheel too. I think I've got a flywheel under there. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. So not want that to happen well shoot I was being a little cavalier and I dumped my engine and I broke my pulley luckily I think I can get another one of those but I didn't clack crack the block oh all right so welcome to the land of broken DKW engines that one we took apart last week and have determined that it's probably a lost cause this one I'm hopeful really hope that I can save something uh, as you can see, we're going to start here in the intake port, see if we can get some of this out. At least it's soft rust. That's always good, right? Soft rust. I'll get the vacuum out here and we'll help clean this out. I'm probably going to shoot some oil down in here to help soften this up and let it sit. But I think I want to pull the head off and at least see what we're working with. It would be really nice if this thing came apart and had some had some usable parts that I could use, at least a core. Be really nice. So let's pop the head off and see what we got. Get in there and soak. And we'll soak these as well. Got to try to save as much stuff as I can, even if it seems futile. Okay, so I got the belt off. I got the bolts loosened for the head. I've got the intake soaking with penetration oil, and I think the head is ready to come off. And I'm bummed that I broke my pulley this morning transporting this engine, but that's what it is. Let's see if I can get this off. I really hope this engine is savable. I'm counting on it. Why? Oh, I've got to undo the wires. Hold on. Okay, now we should be able to pull the head off and just see what we got. Again, I've got high hopes. Oh, not too bad. That's not too bad. I can see cylinder wall. Oh, yes. I mean, it's old and it's rough, and I think that's a 900cc. I'll measure this, but I'm happy with the bores. They're not, not that bad at all. All right, it's still going to take some effort to get this one out because that's going to be really stuck. Okay, so as a guy with not a lot of words. I'm optimistic that I can let these soak a little bit, get the bottom pulled off. Hopefully that doesn't break in half, get the timing chest off, and we might be able to, might be able to get the crank out of this thing. It's not going to be good, but it might be usable for a core or at least identify what it is. So I think we're going to end the video today, keep you in suspense a little bit, breaking down another DKW engine. What's going to happen next? We just don't know.